It was amazing, dude. It was nine and a half years to get this, you know? When you're not consistent with the gi, you don't get them as quick, you know? Because I put all my time in the MMA. But paid off because I used what I learned there in the cage and got me my victory tonight. So. What was your game plan ultimately to get it to the ground knowing what it I actually wanted to knock him out. So that's why I stood up. But he hit me a few times and I was like, all right, you know, he's pretty hard. So yeah, I'm going to take him down. <laughs> and he threw the knee, hit me with it, and I was like, that's where you messed up. <laughs> so I grabbed the knee and then I ran him to the cage. Once we hit the floor, I knew I had the advantage. So. After that, I just kept working through my positions, my positions. He slipped out a few because we're all wet. But after that, locked in the arm triangle and got him. Do you think if you wouldn't have submitted him, you wouldn't have gotten the brown belt? If you would have knocked him out, would you have still gotten that? Uh, probably not because that wouldn't have been jiu-jitsu. <laughs> you know, I would have <laughs> just got another KO. <laughs> Your coach knew that you were going to submit him because he brought it. Yeah, because we've <laughs> – well, I got a two-week notice. You know, I'd, yeah. I was a last-minute call. I didn't even get a whole camp for this. So, like, I wasn't in the right shape. You know, I trained year-round, but I, wasn't had, I didn't have the right nutrition. You know, your muscles, they work better when you're constantly eating good. But it was close to the holidays, so I was just gorging every day. And then they're like, oh, hey, you want to fight in 207? And I was like, heck yeah, you know? How much did you weigh when you got the call? I was in shape. You know, I don't really go over 193. So, like, I stay between 87 and 93 around there. And... So the weight cut was actually easy because it's so cold here. My metabolism was just burning, 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 trying to stay warm. What was yep. your reaction when you were told that you were going to fight in your <laughs> USC debut on this particular card? I was actually sparring in boxing class, and I fell down. I was like, what? Started laughing. I was like, oh, legs weak, fell, you know. Got really excited. Then I went home, slept, came back the next day and hit the gym harder. So I was excited. <laughs> You couldn't get probably that much preparation in because it was such a short notice fight. So, I mean, what was this week like for you just trying to go from getting that call to the fight? Uh, it was amazing, honestly. It was mostly resting, let my body heal because I have my own business. So I've been just working my, my butt off, you know, trying to make money, make money, go get jobs, make money. And by doing that, I was just drained and tired. I actually had to rest more than train, you know so my body can recoup so I can perform the way I did tonight. What's your own business? I do pressure cleaning, so I don't have to worry about that no more, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're closing up shop now? No, I'm just going to hire someone to do it for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> With the short notice, were, were you worried uh, about conditioning? And was it the goal to get them out of there quickly as possible? My goal is to just find their flaws before they find mine every time. In and out, you know, you only paid by a minute in this job. You know, maybe you do eventually, but... I don't. <laughs> so I get in, I find their flaws, I take it out as fast as I can, try to keep my face looking as pretty as it did when it goes in, so even though I'm you, ugly. How quickly do you want to get back in the cage with it after like this? Call me. <laughs> Just call me. I'm ready whenever. I'll take short notice, day of. If you need someone at weigh-ins, I'll be there on wait. doesn't matter. I'm ready for whenever. Do you, do you study the sport a lot? And the reason I'm asking is because not that long ago, Brandon Thatch was a big-time prospect in the sport and looked very good. And now he's lost four in a row, and I'm wondering if you have a theory as to why he has been unsuccessful. Well, you know, you can't really take a college exam without studying, right? So every time you fight an exam, you have to study. You have to watch film. The people that say they don't watch film, they're sadly wrong, because if you don't watch film on someone, how are you going to know where they're weak, where to capitalize, when you see them do something wrong, when to take it out, you know? Yeah. You have to study. You have to watch film. So what's your take on why he's struggling so much as a player. He needs a ground game. Okay. You know, when we were in there, honestly, he's a great fighter. I can't take nothing from him. He hit me hard, you know. But I can take a punch, you know. I, I, I played middle linebacker, and I wasn't a big guy. You know, I took a lot of hits, you know. You have to find your flaws and fix them before someone like me and my coaching staff sees it. Because mm -hmm. I'll try to stand with you, you know. You hit me a few times, you throw something wrong, I'm catching it. Boom, I'm putting you in the dirt. If you don't know how to wrestle in the dirt, you're going to eat it. <laughs> I like that pose at the weigh-in, by the way. Was that a signature Nico Price pose? That's me, That's all you. day. What was it for those that missed it? There it is. <laughs> that was a good one. Right there, and then I put the, because I'm that? coming for you to put you down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, thanks, Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye, guys. Yeah,
Congrats, man. I told you that. Yeah, blank yeah, in there. I don't know if you meant submission, blank, but it still worked. It still worked. <laughs> <It's still laughs> Something cool is gonna happen. Right. Either I'm gonna get knocked out or he's getting down somehow.